Hello, everyone. This is Mark Jones, Senior Pastor, Memorial Baptist Church. And right now I'm in the big youth room. I mean, we have youth rooms, but this is the big youth room. And most of you that are here at Memorial Baptist Church know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, during this interim COVID time, Eric and Casey have uh, been down here with other people and done a lot of repainting and redecorating. You need to be sure and come by and here and take a look at it. Uh, I've shown you some things in the past, but this just came up. We ju they just hung a new banner, a really cool looking banner. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they've done a few other uh, cosmetic and functional changes as well. So once again, come by and see what's going on in the youth area. Uh, I'm sharing with you a devotion. Once again, we're working out of the second chapter of Titus. I'm sharing with you verses six through eight. I call this devotion, likewise, encourage the young men. I want you to know, I love the young men in this church. When I see them coming to the church, a big grin comes on my face in them, I see the church, both present and future. How proud I am that our church is not reluctant to bring them into places of leadership and responsibility. On a personal level, if I had to choose a group to teach the Bible to, it would be young men 20 to 40. Now, don't get me wrong. I love all the age groups in our church and take joy in relating to any of them. But there's something about the young men. Perhaps I've not gotten over my 25 years of youth ministry, and I relate to that generation having invested in it for so long. How I love to look at Facebook and see how many of my kids in their 20s, 30s, and 40s are doing. So many of them are honoring God with their lives. Makes me proud. Well, as we look at these verses uh, this morning for the devotion, remember that Titus was a young man set with a challenging task. With the young men in the church, he was not only a peer, but he was also to be a leader and a mentor. Let me share with you verses 6 through 8 from the chapter number 2 of Titus. Likewise, encourage the young men to be sensible about everything. Set an example of good works yourself with integrity and dignity in your teaching. Your message is to be sound beyond reproach so that the opponent will be ashamed having nothing bad to say about us. There are two groups of people that I, I want to target in this devotion. First, the younger men, 15 to 40-ish. Your path is not yet firmly established. You may be doing well, but not as well as you will be as you move deeper into your progression. Live boldly in good works, integrity, and dignity. The challenges in your life are fresher now. God has given you an easier access to enthusiasm in this season of your life. Embrace it with sensibility. For most of you, the demands on your time are intense, but you'll get better at managing it if you will seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, stay on target. Far more people are looking to you than you realize. Secondly, to the more mature men, 40-ish and older, ask God for opportunities to invest in the next generation of gener younger men. He will honor that request because it's his will that this happens. You just read about it in Titus. Look for opportunities to give away ministry and to train up a young man. Build relationships with the younger men. How do you do that? Well, step out of your comfort zone and don't just hang out with the same people your age. On Wednesday nights, for example, go over to the tables with young adults and children and ask if you can join them. Trust me, they will not turn you away. If they haven't turned me away yet, they won't turn you away. And here's something else. Speak well of the young men in the church to your peers. Some of them do not know any young men in the church. And we have some great young men in our church. Never overlook the opportunity to take aside a young man that is doing well and say, 
I'm proud of you. You and I know how much affirmation and respect means to a man. Those four words can overcome volumes of negativity in a young man's life, especially when he hears them from a quality man such as yourself. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the younger men in our church and other young men of God that we see in your kingdom. They give strength to the present and hope for the future. Give them the strength to be solid examples of integrity, good works, and dignity. Against such, no reasonable person can be critical. Give the older men of our church opportunities to come alongside and be encouragers as well as excellent examples so that we might build up and move forward together in your grace and will. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hey, thank you for this opportunity to share the word of God with you. We'll see you soon.